Well, let me start by saying I agree with you completely that both knowledge and institutions have changed phenomenally over the last several decades. Uh, first, perhaps we need to think what we mean by institutions. And I would argue here that we're talking about institutions in the formal organizational sense, governmental institutions, um, international conventions, and, and so on. And we're also talking about institutions in the sense of norms and practices that govern people's everyday lives. And it's true that both of those have changed uh, possibly in the light of environmental knowledge. There are real difficulties, however, and perhaps one of the paradoxes of this change is that as we go up the scale from local to global, and we know now, of course, that much action will have to be at a global level, then we find that uh, it's more and more difficult for institutions to change actions, for institutions to act politically. And that's a paradox that, that we somehow have to resolve, but it is very difficult to see uh, exactly how that's going to be resolved. It must be said as well that some institutions are extremely resistant to change. We've probably seen more change in what I would call organisational institutions. We know our national governments have changed. We know that international organisations like the EU have changed. And even at global level, there have been very important developments. But if we define something like consumerism as an institution or um, material growth as an institution, then I think we really do find big resistances. So it, perhaps in those cases it's less true to say that those institution, institutions have changed significantly in line with environmental knowledge. So when we look at both the organisational type of institution and the less formal sets of rules and practices, I think we see big challenges in, in both cases.